Noah Mattson here, climate change expert at Defenders of Wildlife. And one of the biggest challenges we face with climate change is more extreme weather events. Here on the East Coast, that means more intense storms and hurricanes. But there are ways we can protect ourselves against the damages these storms create. And we set up an experiment to show you how. Flooding and storm damage cause serious problems. And without a natural buffer between our homes and our coastlines, there's nothing to absorb water or reduce the power of storm surges. That's where our natural wetlands come in. They like, act like a sponge when hurricanes strike. The thick vegetation of wetland ecosystems absorb extra water and help prevent flooding in coastal communities. By preserving and restoring wetland habitat, we can prepare for climate change impacts from extreme storms. And at the same time, we can help our native species adapt and weather these storms too. After Hurricane Sandy, the Department of the Interior started funding habitat restoration projects in areas affected by the storm. And the Obama administration has taken positive steps to address climate policy. Unfortunately, there will likely be more hurricanes like Sandy in the future. But caring for our natural heritage can help us ensure we're prepared for future impacts and help protect healthy habitat for our nation's wildlife too.